Hi there, welcome to my channel. Uh, after my videos on BDS spotters, which has more than 6,000 views, you can see in the link below there I've given or at the end of the video. And also, I'm guessing the question paper for human anatomy for BDS students, which has more than 2,000 views, and most of the students uh, who message me from Punjab, Delhi, Rajasthan, as well as West Bengal. I get a lot of messages from West Bengal. They're very happy about it. And one of the students and few students requested me to uh, pick one more video on how to answer the question paper, anatomy paper for BDS students. So let's start about this particular thing. Uh, please remember, some of the students also told me that I'm very fast in this thing. I'm not fast. You can rewind this video. Students tend to get bored if a video is for 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Because it's fast track life, the students need the video below 10 minutes and not more than that. So remember one thing, anatomy for students, anatomy is having three components as you are all aware, gross anatomy, histo, as well as embryo. The chunk of the portions, questions will come from gross anatomy, as well as the next one will be from histology, most probably five or two marks questions, asking a microscopic picture. Embryo, it will be a five marks question. Mostly the question here will be from the development of face, palate, tongue or the thyroid gland or the pharyngeal arches. These are the stock questions. You can see my video there on the guessing the question paper for BDS students. The RGHS, if students from RGHS University, Rajagand University is seeing, this is for 70 marks and other universities we have paper for 100 and 120 marks. So let's begin now how to answer this paper. Let's start. If this is the paper of yours, uh, remember one thing, you have 10 marks question, which are two in number, most probably 20. I'm speaking for Rajagan University. This is second main, this is the first main. And then you have the two marks questions, five twos are uh, 10. So this will be coming to 70 and this will be the third main. Depends upon you, the time given generally for this is three hours. So my practice being examiner, being a uh, paper evaluator from, from many years, I like request you to first try to answer this 10 twos are 20 because they are 20 marks and they carry, they, you, may, you may, if you have done very well, at least 18 marks you can get in this if you have drawn the diagrams and answer both the questions which are, which you expect it to come. Next will be, it's up to you, there's no hard and fast rule, 8 fives are 40, this is the biggest one, you, you want to start with this one and will be very happy, you want to start with a 10 marks question, it's up to you, it's up to you, whatever you want to start, wherever you're comfortable. So remember, when you're going to answer, uh, and there, there are certain important rules and regulations, number one, anatomy is all about diagrams. You need to draw diagrams, which is very important. Full page diagrams, full page. You need to draw diagrams for five as well as for 10 marks question. And diagrams, obviously, diagrams with labelations. I'm mean, saying nobody can draw uh, without labelations. So they're not equal to be a doctor. So that is first important thing. Diagrams should be very beautiful. Most of the digital valuations, they don't allow you to use a pencil. Go for the black pen and try to practice diagrams. And I'm saying the diagrams, I think anatomy is the first and the last year where you'll be drawing major diagrams. Of course, DADH, you may have few diagrams and second year, third year, there are no diagrams which are going to come up for you. So this is the last chance for you to draw the best diagrams. Next rules and regulations will be answer format. This one, I will just teach you in a very easy, yeah. Okay, so let's start. This is the booklet example. This is the booklet of yours. I'm just trying to draw a cheeky diagram. This is the booklet, what you get. How do you answer? Remember one thing, we'll pick up a 10 marks question. How do you answer 10 marks question? Any 10 marks question, if you have a choice, Rajiv Gandhi University doesn't give choice, but if you have a choice, cho choose properly. There are three things for you and ask any two so choose properly. Don't start with something which you blunder and again you rub it and then do it again. No, you're not going to do that. Two, you pick it up to the best ones which you know, which you know. Spend five minutes of your first three hours for choosing the questions if you have choice. This is for other universities where you have choice. Coming back to the question, 10 marks question. Remember, you need to answer this perfectly. If you're starting the exam at nine o'clock, finish it by 10, sir. 30 minutes dedicate for each question. 30 minutes dedicate for each question, not beyond that. You have still the second main waiting for 40 marks and you have the third main still waiting. And nine by 10 marks questions, how do you answer is number one is always go for introduction. I'll pick up any question for you, a favorite question, temporal mandibular joint. If this is the question asked, the question should be, introduction should be, first write in the set that the question asked, what is it? 
that is a temporomandibular joint right the full form do not write tmj do not short forms people don't accept it and uh, uh, give the introduction always this is the blue format for all the 10 and 5 marks question introduction temporomandibular joint is one of the most important synovial joint of condylar variety formed by the uh, um, head of the mandible as well as the mandibular fossa of the temporal bone. This is how you're going to introduce any question you're going to answer. Introduce it. Introduction is must. Followed by introduction, go for the description. Description will be divided into three parts. How you divide the joints into I mean, any question. It holds good for any question what I'm teaching. Introduction, description and full page diagrams. Excuse me. This, if this is how you started here. The TMJ. First, do not write the diagrams. First write, at least first page introduction and few lines, immediately go for the diagrams. Second page is diagrams and the third page again notes. Don't write only the diagrams, don't write everything in the last or something like that. And then coming to the fourth and the fifth page. Sorry, you may be laughing at me, four pages, what is this pages, what your, uh, we are, are we seeing here the quantity rather than the quality? Yes, in papers we need to fill. You need to fill everything and go for description completely. Uh, uh, do not leave any points. Remember, this is the last, first and the last time you're writing anatomy. You're not going to write anatomy again in your life. Think in this way and answer the paper. The three hours of you, you should be entering second year very soon. Think in this attitude and write it. Then always end. Obviously, you know this. The end your answer by blood supply, vein su venous drainage, nurse supply, as well as the applied anatomy. I'll tell you something very important about this. The thing of very important is the examiner who is correcting your booklet, remember one thing, he will just read through what you have written, the introduction, description, the diagrams, everything. He goes on, goes on, goes on. He will not give you marks here itself. He'll never give the marks there itself. He will read the answer at the end of the answer where you have how you presented your answer. The blood supply, venous drainage, applied anatomy. You're going to be doctors. So write more of applied aspects, at least the name of the diseases. If it is maxillary artery, you can write about the rupture of the artery, any of these um, uh, particular problems while doing extractions. We give the uh, uh, liquid anesthesia in the artery. If it is in um, uh, TMJ, write about the fractures. If it's about a lateral wall of nose, write about epistaxis, few, few lines. Remember, this is where he's going to give the marks at the end. After reading through everything, he's going to give the marks 9, 8, 7, depends upon how you have performed. So answer it very well. Impress him. It's, you should do such a way that you are going to hold his hand without your presence and increase the marks. No examiner loves to fail students. No examiner wants you to, uh, uh, you know, doesn't have any hatred out towards you or something like that. They tend to help you because remember a few years ago, even we were students. So answer in this attitude, always give a better presentation. If I was writing anatomy, I'll fill five to six pages for 10 marks. And now coming to your favorite friend, the five marks question. Five marks question, if this is the booklet, first write the question, which are many five marks are there. For example, you have your option of writing facial artery for five marks. First write the introduction. Facial artery is one of the most important arteries of the external carotid artery given off at the uh, neck of the mandible at the where it can be palpated the uh, remus of the mandible and then start immediately with the uh, description notes here yes even for five marks question you need to write the full page diagram it's very easy for you to write diagrams write the facial artery obviously not using the color the inferior labial superior labial the lateral nasal branch this particular branches diagrams are very beautiful remember if you have drawn diagrams perfectly labeled very neatly Believe it me, believe me, the examiner may not even correct see your notes because a student who has written so beautiful diagram with labelations obviously would have written the same thing in the next page. So the examiners don't even read that they see your diagram, stop him at the diagram and let him give you four, four and a half marks if your diagram is very good. For five marks question, I need you to fill at least three to four pages. Yes, students again may be laughing. What is this, sir? See the quantity, uh, see the quality what you have written, see the things what you have written. Why are you seeing the quantity? Yes, pardon me. We have certain, you know, the old geezers and some old professors who see this particular thing, what, how much you have written. So five marks question, you need to tend to answer uh, a very uh, neatly and perfectly. Perfectly. One important tip here, a very important tip. Remember, 10 marks question may come as 5 marks question. For example, that is purposefully given to take away or eat away your time. For example, TMJ is for 10 marks. You are prepared for 10 marks. Maxillary artery is for 10 marks. Lateral wall of nose is for 10 marks. Mandibular nerve is for 10 marks. Even the facial nerve is 10 marks. Remember, they may come for 5 marks. That is how you compress and write. 
For example, if facial nerve comes for five marks, what are the things to write? Write introduction, write the description, write the diagram. It's compulsory. You cannot negotiate there. Then write few, few lines. Ignore certain things. I will leave that to you. Because there are some students who are so well good, they prepare even for a 10 marks, they can write it for 5 marks and they'll write for a 5. They know how to convert a 10 into 5. That's very... So they can, they can convert to 5 to 10 marks and like that. It depends on you. So remember the 2 marks answer to the point. I ask the students many times, the 2 marks name the skull bones and bald ass lymphatic ring. Any 2 marks, how much are you write? They give one and a half marks. That's it. So I've seen some students blundering. For example, they were very much prepared for the uh, question, whichever question. For example, if they were prepared for the osteology of mandible and the question is osteology of mandible, they tend to write the diagram. I don't know why they may have time or something. They tend to write the diagram, they write uh, the uh, features of uh, um, mandible. It's up to you. How much are you write? You try through pages, three pages, they'll get one and a half to two marks. Two, sorry, mathematics are only paper where we give out of four. Here you may get just one or two. So pardon me, that's how it is like that. The BDS papers, you need to answer, calm answer. Remember, nine to ten for ten marks question. If you're answering, 10 to 11.30, that's about one and a half hours for five marks question. 11.30, this is how my format works out, 11.30. 50 i'll go for two two marks question they have only five here and then 10 minutes just cross check what you have blundered maybe i'm going to underline certain things sometimes revise the paper do not get up before the time finishes and just uh, don't try to rush out or something answer everything calm diagrams win the matches you know they say in our proverb the catches win matches here in anatomy Diagrams win your matches here. They help you to pass very easily. Tend to answer. Follow my video. I have lots of subscribers asking this. 5,000, 6,000 viewers may not be right. Um, maybe not be wrong, sorry. So just uh, go for this. If you have any questions whatsoever, as always I tell you, email me at dr underscore jahan, J-A-H-A-N, Z-E-B, at the rate hotmail. Sorry, in the days of Gmail, I am still in Hotmail. And so this is how you can email me directly and let me know what to be helped to you personally. Any help whatsoever in anatomy, always feel free to ask. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed. Not my boring video. It's just a method to help uh, students pass. Nobody brings out this stuff. And this is not from any student or any PG student. This is from a person who evaluates papers. All the very best. You're going to pass anatomy with very good marks. Take care. Bye-bye. Subscribe my channel. Please share with your class group uh, in the WhatsApp in the, from your class group and help me grow. Thank you. Bye -bye.